Hi, I'm at Northwest Trek and I'm with the horticulturist here at Northwest Trek, Jake Poole. Jake, I love this display of native plants. This is an idea for gardeners to come to Northwest Trek and learn how to landscape with gorgeous, blooming yes. native plants. But what's the big advantage of the of the north of the native plants here. Now, with native plants, there's a lot of great advantages. Um, they're na naturally acclimatized to the, the the climate out here, so they can handle our droughty, you know, summers. Mm -hmm. um, they don't require once they're established after you know two or three years, they're um, they don't require as much water. Um, you don't have to use herbicides or pesticides on them. Um, they're usually naturally you know can handle the insects area. They don't require much fertilizer either. Oh, wow. um, I I love the way that these give color. But I like how you've shown a demonstration down here of how you're using the native plants to solve a bunch of landscaping problems. Um, I notice you've got great ground cover plants. Yeah. Uh, what's this with the small leaves? Um, the small leaves is kinnikinnik. Um, it's a nice drought tolerant shrub that great, we're great for the summer, you know, sunny area borders. Mm -hmm. I, and then we mix that with the lupin and it mixes very well with that. Yeah. And then, you know what the biggest question is on landscaping the problem area for homeowners is dry shade and right. this is a great example tell us what you have growing in this dry shade so we, area we got a little bit of a mix of everything here uh, you can see that i've got uh, pine trees here um, so it creates a nice dry shady area mm -hmm. um, so we use a lot of uh, evergreen components like salal um, we use our uh, pacific uh, rhododendron sword fern is also another good option uh, we use evergreen huckleberry. Um, I love the evergreen huckleberry. I don't think people use that enough. And the beautiful leaves. Is this the native vine maple? Yes, this is the native vine maple. So, you know, it has nice, you know, color, um, creates a, you know, secondary story um, underneath the trees, but it also gets a nice yellow to maybe even red fall color. So we use native plants. A lot of these you can get year-round color just by using the right choice. And this is something kind of unusual, I think. Yeah. This bright yellow in this wet area. What is this? Flowery so plant. this is a, a yellow monkey flower, and what's interesting about this is you find this in the ditches in uh, in the area. You know, people don't notice it when they're driving by at 50 miles an hour, but it's uh, when you put it in the right context, mixed together, you can enjoy these beautiful like snapdragon-like flowers. I love it. it's called monkey flower because the faces look like little monkey faces. Yes, that's smiling. correct. Oh my gosh, this is it. This is a little-known native flower that I think more people need to plant. Um, and then over here for screening. That is probably the best thing. People live in the suburbs or in small yards. Mm -hmm. They forget how our native Oregon grape with the native huckleberry mm -hmm. makes a great screen. Yes, it's great. You get the nice yellow uh, flowers in the spring, but then it's followed up with the berries. You can see the berries are formed now that they'll turn a nice blue color to it. So it sets off really well with the evergreen foliage. And of oh, course, wow. having an evergreen components in your yard is always nice. Yeah, also. that's that, all that year round color. Mm -hmm. And then finally, this is the bluest of the blue bulbs, and people don't realize, yeah. not only is this, uh, an, you say camas, or how do you pronounce it? Camas, this? yeah. Camas. camas is a common camas, or great camas is another name for it. Uh, it's a larger flowering form of camas. It, you see the smaller forms also. Uh -huh. But yeah, this one's a beautiful one, and it, uh, native pollinators love it. So native pollinators, what you're talking about is we need to have native plants because our native bees and butterflies right. need these plants. To yeah, it's really important component is that having native plants help out the bumblebees and the other pollinators. Um, they need our help and you know every little bit that you can do in your yard is great. You know, you can fit it into a small corner, something wow. like this, and it just works perfect for them. Um, oh, wow. So if, if people come to Northwest Trek here, they can come and see this display of native plants. A lot of the local nurseries are selling native plants now. You guys are doing a great service. Thanks for all this well, educational you. display here. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, come on out and check out Northwest Trek.